everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I launched my brand new double slider cards. You can just see them there. So there's two new sizes. You've got a circle and a square and you also have additions to go with that. You can see the additions for the circle and for the square. We're going to look at this in more detail in a moment. You also get two new stamp sets. So these are your woodland animals. Very, very cute. Again, we'll look at those closer in a moment. You also get coordinating dies and you get a very, very cute six by six paper pad with all these wonderful scenes. So in a few hours time, I'm going to be live over on the Craft Stash Facebook page and on Craft World. I will link those direct links in the description box below. So if you want to join me for an hour, I'll be doing live demos and we'll be looking at this again in more detail. There's also going to be some giveaways there and you'll be able to see all the offers that we have going on with the new releases. Because I do have another new release as well. So you'll be able to see that and I will link that one up here somewhere. So you can check it out if you want to. But now I'm going to flip the camera around and we can take a look at this one and we can look at all the samples that I've made as well. So this is the new double slider collection. So we've got here the circle. Now we've called it the double slider because that's the most common one that people will make with it. But you can do a single, double, triple, quadruple and you could even add more as well. This is how it looks. So this will just make the basic card shape which will give you, I'll show you that one there, that's the most basic. Okay, and I'll, I'll pull all that out in a second, but it will make all of this the stand, you know, all of the, the circles there, the pull tabs and everything. You then on top of that have an additions. So this is the circle additions. Now this will also work on its own. So if you just like to make shaped cards, circle cards, you can make some beautiful kind of diorama, tunnel styles with this um, die set. And you'll be able to create in addition to when it's with this one here, a card like this and you'll see this gorgeous frame that I've created and I've actually turned that one into a shaker card and you'll see that lovely special friend sentiment there which is on the bottom which I really like. So that's the circle and then here we have the square so again you've got that basic shape and it will create, let's bring in the most basic one here, so this one here, so you've got your pull tabs, you've got your stand and you've got everything you need, the mechanism and everything inside. So this is how it looks there. And then you have your additions, which will give you this lovely kind of woodland scene. And you've got the scallop edge here. So if I show you, that's the scallop frame. Okay, so I've used it there with the happy birthday. But then if you start layering it up, you'll see here how you create this dimension. I've just kind of used just a little bit of foam and stuck it onto the pattern paper, but I will show you how you can create you know, shaker cards and more depth with the tunnel cards. And I do have one example here, which uses the circle and the trees. And you'll see I've got the circle frame at the front. And then in here, I've got the trees and I've created this diorama or tunnel. It's a concertina fold. I just think it looks adorable. I love the little badger inside the card there. So those are the four main die sets, but like I said, if you just like making shaped cards, then those will be perfect for you to add your own pattern papers and other stamps that you may have. So in addition to the dies, we then have the paper pad. So this is the first time I've done a six by six, and it's just so cute, it's adorable. So you get 24 sheets, you get four of each of six designs, and you can see the designs there on the front. So you've got two with this kind of pattern paper, and then these are your four scenes. I'll just give you a quick flick through there. So there's one of the scenes. And you've got the sky, lovely countryside there, meadow. There's one of the pattern papers. Another woodland. Got the river there. And then you've got another pattern. So those are the six designs. And then also you have your stamps and coordinating dies. So you have your two stamps here. So you've got woodland animals. There's my two favourites. I love those together. You've got some really nice puns there as well. Great sentiments. And then you have this one here. Love the deer and the little bunny and the mouse and the squirrel and the hedgehog. They're just all so cute. You've got nice little puns like sending hedge hugs. Go nuts, it's your birthday. Wishing you an amazing day. Have a mice day. And on this one here, you've got you're a hoot. Owl you need is love. And then you can kind of add extra bits in there. You've got thanks for everything, or I've done on one of the cards, thanks for Owl You Do, um, Hello Foxy, Best Friends. There's some really lovely sentiments there. And then, and then you also have your coordinating dies. So the dies for both sets are in this one pack here. 
So that's all of that collection. Let me show you the samples. The first of all, we'll start off with the circle one. So I showed you that one briefly. So that's in its most basic form. And then you just pull the sides and it will reveal this kind of extended scene, but you can have hidden messages here. And this is where you could make this again, stick it on top. So you have another one pulling out here and one from the bottom, because it can be displayed on the edge of a side table or your windowsill with the bottom one pulled out. And because I've given you that wider stand, it allows it to hold all of that. But you could also do the triple, so you just have an extra one coming out the top here. So that's the circle one. I love the scene on that one. And again, still with that kind of basic style, but I have used the sprigs there from the edition set along with the sentiment and just the two together, special friend. And you can pull out the sides there. Then I've started to use the frame on this one. I do love the red, the pop of red with that one. And again, pull out the sides and you can see your scene. You've got all the space on the back, put more mats on the back here if you want, write a message. And then these two here. So this one, I've done a bright pink frame. And you can see I've got the little dragonfly, I've got the badger, got the, the cheeky little bees, they've got such fun expressions and the sentiment at the bottom there. And then when you pull out the sides, I've got the little mouse there and I've got just one of the little flower stamps. Get all the space on the back there. And then this one here is probably my favourite. And this one's actually a shaker card. And I've just put a sheet of acetate behind that aperture. So behind that pink piece, I've put a sheet and I've also put the frame, which you can see there in the red, I've put that on top of that piece. So I've really layered it up and then I've popped my little images inside. So we've got the lovely deer and the bird and then I've got the cheeky bee on the front there. It says, wishing you an amazing day. And then you pull the sides out and we've got the pheasant and the dragonfly there as well. So, so sweet, absolutely love these cards. So that's the circle, just kind of pop them all like so. And then these are the squares. So again, I'll start off with the most basic one. So that's this one here that I showed you. And you pull the sides out. And again, I've just extended the scene. You've got the little friends there all coming to say, hello, Foxy, thanks for all you do. <laughs> and then this one here is the scalloped one. I just love the sentiment, love the stitch detail and everything around it. And then this one here, I've kept it really plain on the sides, but I've just, you know, popped a few of the stamped images there. I would recommend stamping directly onto this and then colouring them in. You don't really want dimension on here, but there's a little bit and it does still close. So, it, you know, it will work, but try and really keep it as smooth as possible. And then this one here. And that's just using the pattern papers on the side. And then we have these two are pretty much the same because I've done two tutorials for this already. So I'll show you this one first. And I've used glossy accents on all of the eyes on all of the images. You can see the two layers of the trees there and then the pattern paper in the background. I've also made a very thin frame by die cutting the largest die and the, the next size down. And it gives that kind of beveled edge. It looks really nice. And then you can see again, I've extended the scene. I've actually die cut this with the smallest matte layer so that you can have them on the sides there. And then this one here is pretty much the same, but you can see I've just got a slightly different arrangement on the front there. And it says to a special friend. I think they look so sweet. So that is the brand new collection. I'll bring that one back in as well so you can just see how you can get another style card, different effects with this one. Let me just lay them all down. There's absolutely heaps of inspiration here. These are all now going to be bagged up and sent to Hachanda because I will be doing my launch remotely. So I'll be in my craft room, but all the samples will be in the studios. So if you like this new collection from me, I've thoroughly enjoyed putting this one together and designing it, and I can't wait to see your versions. Thanks so much as always for supporting me and for watching my videos, and I'll be back very soon showing you how to make these wonderful cards. Thanks for watching. Bye.